Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new heavyweights as well as some of the news that we did just get, guys. So, of course, the heavyweight is going to take some time to get in the block. We know that. That's kind of how this has always been. Especially because who the hell is waking up on a Wednesday morning, April 21st, and like, I want to open up for some 96 heavyweights, right? Like, that's just kind of how this thing goes. But, we have some golden ticket news. We have some wild card Wednesday-esque news, which is kind of, a, kind of upsetting, kind of cool at the same time. But, uh, guys, I got my NFL Draft Welcome Pack finally. I don't know why it took so long. This just wasn't, I just wasn't popping up for me, right? So, we got this now. We got our 85 Antonio Brown, which is a fun, nice 450 training quick sell if you guys don't feel like you need to use them, which most people probably won't. But moving on from that, guys, before we get into the video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, always head over to my coin bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout if you do need any coins. And as per usual, guys, my binder is crazy full, and I, of course, can't even go on the auction block. Happens all the time. But here's the thing. These heavyweights, while those are coming up on the block, let's go over the screenshot over here and go over some of the news that is kind of important for today. Reminders and updates. Reminder number one, golden tickets. This is exciting. Your The first release of golden tickets is scheduled for Friday, April 30th. So guys, April 30th, which is approximately nine days from today, the morning of, I'd imagine, unless they're going to drop at night. Friday, nine days from today, is going to be the first release of Golden Tickets. So that's pretty fun, guys. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, we typically don't get the best ones right off the bat. So expect that that probably will be the case as well. But now, we don't know. I don't remember if they typically give us a schedule of who comes when. I think it's just random. Like, So we're going to know all the confirmed ones, right? So like, let's say Tim Tebow, right? We know it's confirmed. We know it's coming. Well, that could be the last one. That could be. We might not get that to the end of May or early June, right? That's the level of how they could mix this up. Now, I don't think they'll do that because they know it's going to be one of the better ones. But, like, I think with Vic, we got him, like, the fourth drop or, like, the third drop, right? Maybe even the second. But it wasn't the first, I don't believe. I could be wrong. Point is, you could know that. You could know that Tebow, Del Pitt, and let's say, you know, uh, what's his name? Brandon Ayuk is getting a card. But you may not see those cards for at least a few weeks. Like, you, you, the first week, like, last year was, like, three guys. We had no idea or something like that. Or maybe two out of the two guys or one of the other ones. We didn't know about the Dev Golden tickets. So there's gonna be a dev golden ticket probably first week. There could be a golden ticket for some random kid that got it and doesn't even didn't alert anyone about it. You never really know with this kind of stuff of how it could end up playing out. But other than that, guys, that's about it for that. April 30th, super fun. We'll probably get three of them, probably two user created ones, one dev. Uh, I do hope we see Tebow pretty early on. I hope we see a few guys pretty early on, but that you know that remains to be seen. Wildcard Wednesday, next Wednesday, April 28th, will be the final Wildcard Wednesday update, guys. So that does mean that is the end of one of our last daily content days. I imagine LTDs might be going pretty soon. And that's pretty much our last two things that we actually had on a weekly basis. So that's the end of some weekly content, which is kind of, you know, like, again, Wildcard Wednesday kind of sucked. I mean, besides the power-ups. And quite honestly, guys, all year that they've given us, they've probably given us, like, six, I'd say four, four to six Wildcard Wednesday power-up drops. And literally, like, the last one, when no one even cared anymore about power ups because everyone was, like, a 99. I don't even cared is exactly when they finally gave us good ones, right? Like, they gave us, like, Campus Hero ones late. Like, they gave us all the stuff late. So, mo more than likely, honestly, guys, Wildcard Wednesday was kind of an L this year, in my personal opinion. I, it had so much potential, guys. It had so much potential, and I think they kind of botched it. Wildcard Wednesday, from what we thought it was going to be, was going to be cool pro uh, content dropped throughout the week that kind of differentiated the week. What it ended up actually being was their lazy way of not giving us heavyweights, veterans, and flashbacks weekly, and instead just breaking it all down into one day in multiples of weeks, right? So, I mean, that's kind of cool that it's actually over, but at the same time, it kind of sucks so we're going to have less daily content, right? Next, Madden Bowl. Madden Bowl content players Zeke, Griffin, Lazard, and Reed will receive and receive an or training option in their power-ups after the Madden Bowl after 5-5. So after Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, right, of course. Uh, there will be a training option, which means if you guys want Zeke, you don't have to go ahead and only get him from Madden uh, stuff, only the sets, only this way, you know, buying, whatever. It's going to be, you can actually have a training option, which means if you guys do want to go ahead, you can go ahead and just train, pass him. So maybe they'll give you an option like, you know, 50,000 training and you can pass him. So instead of spending this much on the card or watching all the games, doing the sets, you know, you can just go ahead and get him for training, which is really cool for a lot of people who don't have the time or want to put the money or effort into getting him the regular way, right? But let's head back on over to the heavyweights who should be up now. The store, guys, again, like I said, I don't know how many people are actually on a Wednesday morning caring too much about heavyweights. Again, the bulk of this video was the reminders. Of course, that's what I think we're going to care a little bit more about. But we still have the heavyweights in game, so we do want to check them out. Of course, 
Um, hopefully, you know, hopefully they're decent. I did see Titus Howard. Okay, so we have a few up. So Titus Howard, right tackle for the Texans. Let's start. Let's start from the back, right? So run blocking gonna be low mid 90 right there. Run blocking, no power up. Low. Um, let's call it mid 90 pass blocking, mid 90 strength. He's a very well rounded mid to low 90 tackle. Not the greatest. Does have 78 speed and 85 excel though, so he's gonna be pretty agile in like a zone scheme or anywhere where he has to pull. Um, in terms of let's see, impact blocking 96 and then lead blocking 96. That's pretty good as well. All around guys as right tackle is really good i think he's a he's, he's, he's really good for his overall he's gonna have the speed and excel he's gonna be great on a, a texan steam team i don't think you know he's a card that you just need on your team for, for any reason necessary but not bad shelby harris the speed's gonna make or break him 80 speed 93 excel that makes him decent at best 93 strength 95 tackle 94 play rack 92 block shed 90 power move 76 finesse move so um threshold block shutter threshold power rusher he actually does have decent speed um behind the card Will he get 98 impact blocking is actually really good as well. 90 hit power. So, guys, again, this isn't a meta card, but again, on a theme team, he's going to make a great addition. That's important at this point in the year because at this point in the year, people get bored of God squads. I want to start constructing their theme teams, guys, and players like Shelby Harris will fit as a one or two defensive tackle on a Broncos theme team. Next, we got Mark Glawinski, right guard. So, again, we got another lineman here. Kind of looks like Quentin Nelson a little bit. 96 strength, so that's good. 96 awareness is good. 94 pass block, 92 pass block power, 96 pass block finesse. So that does make him a mid, a mid, middle tier 90 pass blocker, as well as 93 run block, 92 run block power, 90, 94 run block finesse. So again, that makes him a middle tier to low, low middle tier 90 run blocker. So again, on a cold steam team, guys, that, that line's ridiculous. You got Quentin Nelson, you have Mark Lawinski, you have Brian Kelly, you have that the tackle that I can't remember his name. I don't know if it was, I, 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 I can't remember, Braden Smith, I think. Uh, you have Costanza. Or Costanzo, I think he has an LTD actually. So, guys, that if you have a cold steam team, you have a stacked, you have a stack line. Ridiculous. 88 Excel is not bad either. 73 speed. Uh, his lead block is going to be 91, which is a little low. Impact block 96. The card overall is a pretty good card though. Uh, again, not bad. We got Matthew I I I need us. I think I I need us. I need us. Defensive tackle 78 speed, 88 Excel is decent. I wish the speed was slightly higher, but that's okay. 98 strength is amazing. 94 tackles good, 95 play rex good, 89 block sheds okay because he has a power up, 95 uh, power move, 88 finesse. So guys, if you power up and come up uh, Matthew, you will get a threshold 90 block shedder as well as a 99 power move guy with around 79 to 81 speed depending if you put sprinter on him and 89 excel and 99 strength. So this card is actually not bad. He will also get 90 impact blocking and 90 hit power. So on a Washington football team theme team, he will be really good. I'm not sure if he's been anywhere else. He could have been. I'm just not exactly sure. But um... Yeah, it's about it. There's probably one more, guys, but the heavyweights just really aren't good. They're just, they're not good. They're not, like, you know, it's not that exciting. These are theme team cards. Uh, but overall, guys, they weren't bad. They weren't bad. I just wish they were higher overalls, right? Because it kind of sucks that we have to deal with 96 overalls when we have, what, like 40 to 50, 99 in the game already. But yeah, guys, about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up, as always. If you haven't already, hit the notification bell, comment down below. And just go to that checkout for 5% off your order. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.